Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of Windows 11 back in 2021, as you may well know, Microsoft introduced the new layout and design and look and feel for the right-click context menu when you right-click on a file in Windows 11. And if you want to get to the older or classic context menu like it is in Windows 10, you need to click on Show More Options. And I have found um, from the comments and also just doing some research that the newer Windows 11 right-click context menu um, is for some not that well liked and some would prefer the classic context menu to open as soon as you right click on a file instead of the new Windows 11 context menu. So if you do find yourself in that department, just a quick video to show you how to enable the classic context menu in File Explorer in Windows 11. And once again, it's quite simple to do and it involves um, tweaking the registry. So if you are comfortable to fiddle in the registry, then as always, to get to the registry editor, we right click on the start menu, click on run, enter reg edit, click on OK, and this will open the registry editor. Now, as I always do suggest, before fiddling in the Windows registry, head to file and just do a quick backup and export. It takes a couple of seconds and is a worthwhile process at the end of the day in case something goes wrong. And you can always import that backup at a later stage. Now, if we just head over to my notepad, I'm going to leave all of this um, down below in the description for you to copy and paste because this is, this is quite a mouthful. But the first step we have to do is we need to copy and paste this registry path into the address bar of the registry. And then you just paste that in. And then you just hit enter. And that takes us directly over to the actual key we want. And you'll see it says at the top, CLSID. Okay. Now what you need to do is make sure that CLSID is selected like it is in the blue. And then right click inside the pane on the right and select new key. Okay. So you'll see now right at the bottom now it's created that new key. Now what we have to do is we have to rename that key to this. So you copy and paste this in exactly how it is here as shown. And then you go to that key, you right click, rename, and you paste that in. Okay, so there we go. And then just click again here to the right in the empty field. Make sure it ends with 2A2, okay. And then what we need to do now is we need to select this newly created key, okay, and right click in the right pane again, yeah, in the, to the right hand side in the empty space. And once again, select new key. And you'll see there's the new key. And we need to rename it this time to in proc server 32, which is this. So once again, you just copy that. As mentioned, these will be down below in the description for easy access and reference. So you just click on rename and once again you paste that in. There we go. And then you just click here to the right and there we go. And then yeah, you'll see default. And what you need to do is make sure the value data is empty. So if there is something here, delete it, but just make sure that's empty. And then what I would do then is X and close the registry and then you would need to restart your computer which I'm not going to do because obviously that will crash my recording. Now yeah you will see I have taken a screenshot once I restarted my PC before posting and yeah is just an example of heading straight into the right click context classic menu after I've restarted my computer after applying and changing those registry and making those registry changes so it does work it opens up the classic older context menu as found in windows 10 so if you want to skip the new windows 11 context menu then this does work and you don't have to actually restart your pc if you want to you can just sign out and sign back in or head into task manager click on ex the file explorer.exe and just um restart that process and that should also work 
to um, enable the tweaks we've made in the registry. And if you want to put everything back to how it was prior to changing to the um, old classic um, right-click context menu, then all you do is you delete all those keys or those keys that we created. You just follow the steps in this video and you delete those keys we've created, restart your computer again, and it'll pop everything back to how it used to be. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.